Praise the Lord. Today is October 11th. And reason number 11 of why Christians should abandon Halloween is specifically for parents. Parents, your child or children belongs to the Lord. Matthew 19, 14 it basically says, don't be a hindrance to your child's relationship with Jesus. So when children are born into this world and become adults, we're just all passing through this world, right? This is not the end all for us. This world has been overrun with sin. It's um, being um, ran by the powers of darkness. This is, you know, essentially been overrun by Satan, right? The ultimate goal for us being brought into this world is to develop our relationship with Christ and grow more and more in that relationship with him every day so that we become more and more complete in Christ until ultimately we spend eternity with the Father and our Christ, right? In Deuteronomy 6, it basically says um, that parents need to teach their children constantly like every day, everywhere you go, you need to teach your child and children this. You shall love the Lord thy God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your might. Listen, if you are not doing that as a parent, the hard truth is you are failing as a parent. Because the word says right here. This is the most important thing for a parent to do is to teach them to lo love the Lord thy God with your heart, soul, and all your might. By allowing your child or encouraging your child to celebrate Halloween every single October, you are putting the devil and this world above the love your child should be expressing to the father. Okay, so by celebrating Halloween, essentially, you're failing as a parent, at least for the month of October. You should not be telling your child or encouraging your child that during the month of October, it's okay to cheat on God with Satan. Okay, Proverbs 22, 6 says to train up a child the way he should go. So as parents, we are to teach our children the ways of the Lord, not the ways of the world. Halloween is the ways of the world, okay? As Christians, loving the Lord with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our might we are to hate Satan and hate all things of Satan, not embrace a holiday season that worships and glorifies Satan. Amen? As parents, the Lord entrusts us to raise his children. By us having sex with another person, that doesn't create a spirit and a soul. The Lord does the creating. Okay, he's creating a soul and a spirit and making that person become a human being. A mother that gets pregnant is just the vessel for that spirit and soul the Lord has created. Isaiah 49, 15 through 16. It basically points out that God, he's a better parent than we ever could be, right? God sets the standard for our parenthood. It says, even though we as parents may fail or forget our child, God never will forget our, forget our children. He'll never forget his children. He created them. Amen. And he's entrusting us with and giving us a blessing to raise his children and bring them up in this wicked world and help them overcome by teaching them that having a relationship with Jesus Christ and loving the Lord, our God, with all of our heart, soul, and might 
is how we overcome. It's, it's our purpose for being alive. So Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, and we repent, Heavenly Father. We repent, Father, for exposing our children to this demonic season, this demonic holiday season of Halloween, Lord God, that glorifies Satan and um, opposes our teaching that we're supposed to tell our children to love the Lord with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our soul, Lord God. Forgive us for that, Father God. Give us a heart of repentance, Father God. May last year be the last year we ever willingly expose our children to Halloween. From this day on, Lord God, may we declare that Halloween is dead in our lives and dead in the lives of our children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.